Wayne Richard Wells, aka Wayne Static, managed to create not only a band with a dedicated following, but also made somewhat of an icon of himself. I mean, no one can confuse the silhouette with someone else. After his death, I never expected to hear any new music from Wayne, even more so, I never expected to hear any new music from Static X, because the band has officially broken up in 2013, and their last tour before the breakup was way back in 2009. The band began falling apart due to Wayne's drug-related problems, as he was increasingly difficult to work with. Wayne's addiction problems most likely played a role in his passing as well, since he died from an accidental overdose of prescription drugs and alcohol combination. In regards to Wayne's decline, which began in 2007, when Wayne began seeing Tara Ray, who later became his wife, former tour manager Eric Drinkelman posted on Facebook in 2019, no one really goes into the fact that the prescription meds that Wayne was on weren't Wayne's. They were Tara's. Tara got Wayne hooked on the medication prescribed to her. Nonetheless, the original Static X lineup and fill-in singer officially introduced as Zero toured in 2019 to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Static X's platinum debut record, Wisconsin Death Trip. The tour was followed by an announcement that we will be getting a new album from the band with vocal performances from Wayne himself. Wayne was working on new material for his solo project, which he shared with a music producer prior to his passing. The producer turned out to be a mutual friend of Wayne and Tony Campos, the original bassist of the group. Years after Wayne's passing, the producer contacted Campos and shared the material Wayne has been working on in recent years, before his departure. This got the ball rolling for the project Regeneration. Initially, the album was planned to be released in 2019 and was supposed to feature a number of guest vocalists, but was delayed because more recordings of Wayne's vocals were discovered. Vocals for songs that did not make the cut for the band's fourth studio album, Start a War. In fact, so much unheard material by Wayne was found that the project regeneration will consist of two volumes. The tracklist of the first volume consists of 12 songs, with only one guest vocalist announced, Al Jorgensen of Ministry, who appears on the closing track, Dead Souls. Trip Eisen, who was the lead guitarist in Static X from 2001 to 2005, stated that the delayed release of Project Regeneration was due to legal issues, since a number of songs in Project Regeneration was the material Eisen has co-written with Wayne during his time with Static X. As a result, Eisen will get credits as a co-writer for several tracks on the new album. The return of Static X in this unusual manner was met with both praise and criticism. Obviously, there are still loyal fans of the band who are thrilled to hear new music from Static X. And of course, criticism because of the touring vocalist Zero, who is wearing a mask that resembles Wayne, which some referred to as twisted cosplay. Tony Campos had this to say on the matter. Yeah, I can see how some people will be shocked and off-put by it, but once they know what's going on, they get it. While drummer Ken J said, Wayne had a terrifically morbid sense of humor. I can honestly tell you, he would think this is funny. The fact that Wayne and the original lineup of the band were on bad terms since 2009 also didn't do any favors for the returning trio. Regardless, Campos got the approval from Wayne's family before proceeding with Project Regeneration. Generally, the feedback to the two singles and music videos released was positive. The songs still have that signature minimalistic, straightforward sound of Static X, which is elevated by the iconic vocals by Wayne. Initially, my reaction to the reunion was mixed because I did recall that Campos and Wayne were on bad terms for several years before Wayne's passing. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, we weren't friends the last five years of his life, you know. Um, and he just, uh, you know, he went down a path that, uh, you know, not, none of the, uh, the other guys in the band wanted to go down. And, uh, you know, you can't help somebody who doesn't want to be helped, you know. And he didn't want to hear it from anybody, least of all me. When, when somebody doesn't want the help, there's nothing you can do, you know. And just... I let them do what they're going to do. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, he, the, the path he went on took him, you know, ended up costing him his life, you know.
so Compost working on Wayne's material came off as somewhat of a cash grab, but upon hearing the two singles, especially the second single after all these years, I am glad we get to hear more music by Static X with vocals by Wayne. Coincidentally, I think that Wayne was an underrated vocalist with a unique voice and a solid and consistent technique that made Static X what it is. I only recently realized that Wayne might have been inspired by early vocal performances of Mishuga's frontman Jan Skidman, which I say as a compliment. I did get a chance to listen to Project Regeneration in its entirety, and I must say that I'm quite impressed and feel like this is Static X's best work in quite a while. It's much more diverse and layered than their last two releases, and additional vocals by Zero adds one more interesting element to the overall sound. So I'm honestly quite happy that the band decided to reform and release this material of Wayne that we may not have heard otherwise. So support Static X and buy the album if you have a chance, it's well worth it. And I personally can't wait for volume 2. What are your thoughts on the first volume of Project Regeneration and this approach of having the new singer wear a mask that resembles Wayne's face? Leave your thoughts below, don't forget to like the video as it makes it easier for other people to find my content and if this video was your cup of tea, subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. Take care.